everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be opening a Goodwill blue box that I got. I've got a few here, and I guess depending on where they come from, they're sealed differently. So sometimes they come sealed like this, sometimes they're taped like this, sometimes they're just folded up like this. It's a mystery. I'm guessing it's because they come from different areas, but then of course they're shipped inside of another box that's totally sealed. So let's, let's open this one that we can cut open. I don't know why they do that, but I was just like, maybe if you guys know, maybe you've gotten one, you can tell me what you think. But I'm guessing it's just that it comes from a different, a different plus. And I'm bringing the white board back because, yeah, <laughs> just because. Many reasons. All right, let's open this up and get our first impressions, shall we? Impressions. Let's zoom in. First impressions, I see a fish and some cool beading here. That's cool. I see something that looks like silver over here. So pretty exciting. All right, all right, let's dig in. Let's dig in. All right, here's the board. The board is back. Okay, so first up we've got this really pretty, it's like pinky peach colored multi-strand necklace that has a gold tone back. I like this. I think this is something that would probably sell. I'll probably put this up for about 20 bucks. I think this is something that, uh, yeah, I like the multi-strands. I like that peachy pink color. It's kind of springy. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Next is a stretch heart bracelet. We've got bonus hair right off the bat. Uh, this is one that I'll probably just put into a lot. Yep, okay, so this is a, it looks like an oyster shell. It is ceramic, like, yes. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. So it's got this ceramic oyster shell, these beads that are almost like a luster wear painted on them because they've got this iridescence. And then some more, I mean, there's plastic and ceramic. This is funky weird. I'm tempted to try to sell this because it's so unusual. Yeah, I may, I may try to sell this. It's definitely different and um, yeah, I think I will. So I'm, again, I'm probably, my starting point will probably be about 20 bucks on this unless I find something different. It's very different. Ooh, all right. So next we've got this sweet agate. This is a little agate pendant and there are tons of different types of agate. So I will have to do a little research, but it looks like just a piece of a slice that was painted off along the edges, smoothed off, very smooth. And then it's got a chain that, let's see, sometimes it looks gold tone, sometimes it looks silver tone. What's going on with that? So, unless it's supposed to be down here like that, I don't know. I'll probably sell it, chain and all, and just say, you know, the, the, I mean, or I might replace the chain. Yeah, that might be what happens. I might find a silver or a, silver or a gold tone chain to match that. And then, goodness knows, I come across gold tone chains. So I could put a new chain on this and definitely sell that. I think probably, again, probably about $20. I mean, it's really nice. This part of it's pretty nice. I think that's something pretty cool. Get a good picture of that. Next is this necklace with these green faceted stones. This is one that I'm always, this style, because I feel like this style I see like Charming Charlie and stuff like that and there's like a million of them mass produced. But this one's kind of cute. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might try to sell this one because the one, the green, I love the green. I don't know. I guess I just need to take a chance and, and try listing it. So I'm guessing about $18 is my starting off point. Unless I get online and see something different. Look at this sweet thing. We have got the sweet gold tone butterfly with a bonus hair. What are you doing there? No, get out. Okay, 
and then it's got this little three-dimensional flower burst or like fireworks burst coming from its stomach and yeah that's really really cute that's the back of it any there's no maker's marks on it that i can see oh this is adorable so again i'll look i think i'll probably put this up for 15 or so dollars maybe more if i don't find one like it it will be more but i like the little open work i like the wire work on it i'm talking myself into charging more these black graduated bead necklace i think this is something that could sell but i'll probably just put it into a lot hmm. oh this looked pretty intense whatever it was once upon a time it looked like it was like chains and dangling chains and major i mean i feel like this if pieces could talk right if this piece of jewelry could tell its story what what story would it tell <laughs> I mean it looks like it was ripped from someone's body it, it reminds me of maybe something we would have seen Princess Leia wearing when she uh, was uh, Jabba the Hutt's okay so that's uh, going to a craft lot, craft lot. oh arg me hearties we have got a key from Pirates of the Caribbean. This is funny because I have another Pirates of the Caribbean keychain that we use in our house. So I will probably put something on this and either if it's not worth anything, my kids will play with it. But I have a feeling it's something that could sell because there are people that love Pirates of the Caribbean and this is a pretty cool looking skeleton key. Awesomeness, bring it, bring it. Look at how awesome this is this it's leather on the inside you can see that this was stitched somebody hand stitched this most like yep it looks hand stitched someone put some work into this wow that's awesome i can't decide if it's native american style or if it's more like a tribal style like more african style or another tribal from somewhere else i don't know but it's cool or it's just a random pattern one or the other but whatever it is it's definitely cool i will definitely sell this Ooh, price wise let me snap that up i don't know i'm guessing like 30 bucks or more because i it's hand done so it may be something that's one of a kind uh depending on what i see i'm going to have to 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 consider that but probably at least 30 bucks so here we've got a cross it looks like maybe there was one more stone over here got that got broken this is going to a lot we've got some little wishbone earrings that have maybe little faux pearls in there let's take a look i mean this piece of sponge is really gross look at this sponge come now i ask you this is disgusting let's get this off this nasty ratty sponge we can do better i can put you in a little baggie out of here sponge so these are sweet little wishbones <laughs> with little pearls let me grab a magnet and they are magnetic but still i'm gonna put them you deserve better okay you're adorable you're sweet you're cute and you don't deserve to be on a nasty gross sponge that is disintegrating into yuckiness okay there we go so even if you end up going to a lot you will spend your final days in a much better place a baggie <laughs> we've got another stretch bracelet this is one the stretch is good with this one but i am probably just going to put it into a lot ah, i don't destroy it that one is broken that will go to a lot unless it's supposed to be that way do you think it's supposed to be this way and it's supposed to like clip onto there possibly um but then still it looks like it's missing something somebody else can play with it Ooh, what have we here? So, what is this? This piece looks like it's made from clay and then really lacquered up on the front. Look at that, so cute. That's the back. But then these, these may be bone of some sort, because these are cold, these are cold. Uh, they look like they're dyed. Ooh, what are they? 
Look at this. Let me zoom in closer. Let's take a peek. What do we think? It's pitted. You can see the little pitting. So this might be dyed. And it is cold to the touch. These are colder, not super cold, like stone. But then the inside is colored too. Oh, I'm, that's a mystery. I need your help, friends. You're my only hope. Help me, YouTube friends. This is something I will definitely sell, whatever it is. It's cool. It's got really good coloring, orangey red, this funky flower. Definite, definite seller. Okay. All right. Let's talk. This is something that will likely sell, but you and I have never had the opportunity to discuss my disgust for wicker. I don't like wicker. I don't like rattan. I don't like it. I don't like it, Sam I am. Um, <laughs> because, I think it's because as a child, it must have been my great grandmother, or my gr they had wicker furniture, my mom still has some, and it always pokes like little bits of it like break and then it's poking out and you sit down and you think I'm gonna sit and just kind of chill and you're like all of a sudden you're getting jabbed in the backside with little pieces of wicker there's like wicker, 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 hurting so that being said I don't like wicker now this necklace these kind of look like coasters so maybe what the deal with this one is you're at a party you know, it's a pool party, and then suddenly everybody's got their little fancy shot glasses or drinks, but they're like, the, the hostess is very, very particular about her furniture. It's like, don't put your glasses on my furniture. And so you whip this bad boy off, you set it on the table, and suddenly you have saved the party. Everyone has a safe place to set down their shot glasses, and the hostess with the mostess thinks that you're just like the best ever. So that's what's going on here. This is a party saver. That's what I'm gonna call it. The party saver necklace. And yeah, I will definitely sell this. How fun. Another one like this. This is just like the blue one. Cute, except for not faceted. Okay, but those are both going to a lot. Good stretch though. Ooh, fun. Okay, we've got a puffy heart. Looks like it might be silver on a silver chain with some satellite beads along the way. This is a nice one. Is the chain kinked? Looks like it, well, it came undone. Cool. Oh, this is sweet. It's got a bit of a pull on that. This is, is it, look, I'm trying to see if the heart is magnetic or the jump ring. Is it? It is slightly magnetic. Okay, so it could be just silver plate. And that's fine too, but I think, you know, some, let's say you've got like a Southwest style going and you need some things to layer, you like layering your stuff because it's got turquoise, it's got kind of a cobalty blue and then the silver. So this would be a great one to layer. It's a long, long necklace. Ooh, what do I think on price on that? I didn't say. Maybe like 27, something like that. We'll see what I see out there, but probably or I'm thinking around 27. That's my thoughts. here this part I thought maybe there was a magnet in there but it's just really tangled up but it's all part of this multi strand pearl which I'm going to put in a lot and let somebody else have fun with it <laughs> this one is trying to fool us it looks like a sweet little beaded necklace but we know what's underneath don't we we know what lurks behind these beads fishing wire I mean just look at it it's here to drive me crazy. Okay, lot. look at this, super long, super fun. Look at these pearls. Okay, this, this double strand, right? And then here we go. Really long, double strand, pearl, necklace, faux pearl, but really cool. I definitely could see somebody liking this one and the wanting to buy it. So I'm guessing about 30 bucks, depending on what I see because it's really long. I could see someone really liking this for layering. Pretty cool. 
Ooh, I'm on the fence about this. So here's the deal. I love mixed metal stuff, and this has got the copper, the bronze, or brass, and the silver tone rings. And then it's got this beaded necklace, again, probably on fishing wire, because look how it winds around and makes us crazy, like so. But, oh, maybe somebody would like it. What do you think? Oh, this dry, like, how do you, bleh. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I haven't decided. This one almost went under the knife, but it, it, I, it yielded in the end. But this is one, these are glass, most likely. Some other kind of little stone, more glass. I'm gonna just put this in a lot because it's on a shoestring looking st string. Meh. And then this, oh, these appear to be like maybe ceramic? They're not, pl maybe they are plastic. It, yeah, that's gonna go to a lot. Eh, it's different though, isn't it? It's different. Oh gosh, what would you do? It's kind of got this marbled look to these textured, wavy. What are they? <laughs> oh, that's fun though. Okay, I, could, I, I would like it for that. Just to have like sitting in class and you're like, ah, I'm bored. So I'm gonna, it's like a fidget spinner on your neck. Right, that's kind of fun. I could just sit and do that for a while. Woo, okay. Um, <laughs> has that sold me on it though? Has the fidgety, Ness of this necklace sold me on being able to sell it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to think about it. Maybe I'll look it up. Then we've got this little cuff bracelet with gold tone beads on it with different, you know, textures. That's kind of cool. It's got like, look right here. What is up with that? Is that going to hurt? Let's see. No, can't really feel it. Yeah, maybe I'll sell that. I don't anticipate, it's kind of got a weird bend to it. Like it bends super, I don't know. Is it too cheap? Is it gonna break easily? Ah, decisions. Eh, I think I'm gonna put it in a lot. All right, this one was sweet. Look at this little necklace. So it's got a little uh, charm. Someone has stamped believe in the metal and then there's a little cross and a turquoise colored bead charm. And it's on this like antiqued black chain. So this is something I'll sell, probably I'm guessing around 20 bucks or so. We'll see what I see out there, but yeah. We've got this necklace and it's got this diamond shape pendant that have these little dangly leaves inside, but one is missing right in the center. I'll probably just put that in a lot. If I find the little one that goes in there, I might just fix it and sell it because it's cute. Then this necklace, this one is broken. This wire wrapped bracelet is cute with the little beads in it. Urgh, I don't know. I'm gonna look this up. This one, I like the coloring on it, so I might try to sell this. All right, we've got a bunch of things here that are going to a lot. I'm saving all the solo earrings. Oh, let's take a look at this. This is darling. Zooming in. So we've got a three panel necklace with this little panel front that has, oh, you can't take these leaves and then green emerald crystally beauti beautifulness. Oh, I think it's really sweet and delicate. So, I mean, it's not gold for real. It might be, like the chain is not magnetic. Is that magnetic? I don't think so. That's not, it might be plated. I see a little bitty mark right on the back of this one there. So we're gonna check it out. The ring inside the spring is magnetic, but that's normal. Let's go in and see what we see here. So these, uh, it's 1 20th. Okay, so this is 1 20th, 12 karat gold filled. And then the mark is a maker's mark 
and it said it's Vandell. Okay, so that's a new one for me, Vandell. Let me pop that one up just because. Here's a Vandell necklace that's up for $55, like that. Let's see now. Let's go back for green. So just looking here, we've got Poshmark, 20 bucks, 150 on that one, 38, 60, just kind of depends, 59. So we've got 117 on one, 30 bucks on another. I'm not seeing this particular one. I'll have to do a little more digging on it. This one is probably gonna go up for 80 bucks or more because the green color is really desirable. The gold filledness is beautiful. Yeah, I think 80 bucks or more on this. Score! You know I'm waiting on this, right? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, it's coming. All right, this one's pretty cool too. We've got this kind of tribal style. Unfortunately, there's some, Oh wait, maybe that's just like yuck that needs to be cleaned off. Yeah, I think that's something. So this is something I can get off. I don't think it's um, peeled or anything. So I'll clean that up. And then this is something I would sell. Again, this is one of those that would like, it doesn't really look good on my skin tone, but I think somebody with a darker skin tone, it would really pop with the contrasting color. It would look good. Yeah, I'm gonna try to clean that up see what we can do with that because I think that tribalness would look really good on somebody. Then this bracelet or part of something that Joan Rivers, uh, it's broken so it will go to a lot. Then this is a Pandora style. Is it a Pandora? I love this bead. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gorgeous, darling, oh dear. Where's the clasp? Where's the clasp? Here it is. No, it's not. Where's the clasp? Here it is. <laughs> so, not Pandora. Okay, we've got just a lobster clasp. 925, it says. So you say. I'm not sure when it chopped off. When did it stop? Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so next up is this Pandora style bracelet. I don't remember where it stopped. It's got a lobster clasp. It's got a 925 hang tag. So we'll see if it's 925, but we wanna look at these charms because maybe the charms are from different places. It might be worth taking a look at. So this, I don't know about this one. Uh, I don't think all these charms are silver, that's for sure. There are some of them that are super cute though, like the foot is cute. This little barrel is cute. You know, it's got this, some of these glass ones are nice, this purple glass one. This one that's like a wedding cake style. I really love this one with the little blue stones in it. And then the key. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know, Arr, randoms. So, uh, I'm gonna put it on my pile to think about because I like that one <laughs> a lot. Even though it's cheap, I can see that's trying to pop out. Ah, ah, I don't know. All right, one more. This looks like that Believe necklace. This one has a price tag of $12 on it. Made in Alexandria. JT Maui. I will figure out what to sell this for. I'm not sure. All right, bring it in. Bring it in. So, we have talked before about, about ivory. This is not ivory. There was a bracelet I had in a video not long ago that was this kind of style of bracelet. And a lot of people were saying that it was tusk, but it wasn't just because of the style and they saw, oh, that looks like Outlander and it's like the tusk on Outlander. Let me go get it. So this is the bracelet that I um, got in another haul that was ivory that some people were saying, oh, it looks like that bracelet that was in Outlander and it was a, a boar tusk. Uh, but this is not, this is. And I wanted to pull this one out just to show you the difference. Um, so this is a boar tusk necklace, which I, I mean, it's kind of in rough shape. I'm not sure I can sell it online. I'll have to do a little digging. I, I guess so. I've seen them up, but there's like teeth and tusks and stuff. So <laughs> here's the difference. Let me zoom it in for you. Get up close and personal friends. Here we go. So here is the tusk. As you can see, maybe and here is the ivory. I'm going to pull open the ivory. I get the color is kind of the same, but this ivory is old. Here's its original color. You can see more of a lightness to it, a more refined kind of 
smooth color. And then you can see here where it looks like a crisscross, crosshatch pattern they say, it's called Schrager lines. And if you look at ivory from one direction, let's see if I can get it to do it for you. If you look at ivory from one direction, you'll see the, the crosshatch. And then if you turn it to the other direction, you'll see it'll look like parallel lines on it because of the way that the tusk is made. So this one is definitely ivory and not tusk. I'm trying to see if I can, so you can see there more of the cross hatch and it, yeah, it morphs when you turn it to the parallel lines. Okay, um, and then ivory, you know, we can't sell that. There's lots of laws and regulations and all this. So I have been, anytime I find ivory, I put it in my ivory box. And I'm just holding on to it till I decide probably some sort of educational resource that I'll use for that. Anyway, um, but this tusk necklace, now we are in a conundrum. That one looks like it's chipped, which gives it a more roguish look, I suppose. <sighs> And this is probably, look at these faces. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just look at the quality and we'll talk about ethics and morals and stuff in a minute. Look, on these tusks, it's got this, it almost reminds me of, uh, you know, the Maori and they have the, the haka dance and then they stick their tongue out, right? But the faces look more Thai, don't you think? Um, or just the style of it with the, the swirls and, and all. So very interesting on the craftsmanship, I just have to say. That's pretty cool, craftsmanship wise. And then let's see along here. It almost looks like a fish. But maybe it's just the design. Um, and then the front, in the front there, it looks like a face as well. And this one almost looks like a bird of some sort, like that's the head and eye, that's the body, and the swirls like a peacock or something. There is a little bit of wear, damage or rather, right here. That piece, I mean, the piece is pulled off, but you could probably just hook that onto the bottom one, it would work fine. I have had, I don't know about selling it on eBay uh, because of regulations and then wanting to know what kind of animal that this stuff comes from. And then on Etsy, you're, supposedly you can sell bones still, but some of my bone pieces were taken down. I didn't get a notification. I just noticed that they were down and that Etsy had deactivated them. Uh, so I, I'm under the suspicion that somebody reported them as ivory or something like that. I don't know for sure because there's lots of bone stuff up. I don't care. Whatever. People are going to do what they're going to do. Um, but do I attempt to sell it? I don't know. I think it's really cool the way the, the craftsmanship is done. So tell me what you think. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to hear from one of y'all saying you want it because it's so unusual. So it might end up just being sold to a viewer because frequently viewers will want stuff and this is, this is definitely an unusual piece. Let's see if we, I'm going to do a quick search and see what I see. So as I'm looking, I'm seeing there's one here that says Maori style, so maybe I'm not too far off, you know, with some of those. Uh, here's one, antique boar fang, boar tusk necklace, 188 bucks. I may, you know, go ahead and try to list it, see what happens. Papua New Guinea, 400 bucks. It's so unusual. I, I, I was looking for a little bit before I got back on, turned the camera back on, but I can't find one similar to this at all, so... I think even with the damage to that one tooth, I mean, you can see that some of them, just the one tusk is like 40 bucks. So I might be able to sell this for, you know, over a hundred dollars, even with that one tooth broken. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna list this Ooh, for over a hundred bucks, maybe closer to 200. Just because of, I mean, I can't, I'll look some more, but I can't find anything like this with the faces like that. Um, I have a feeling it's more Thai or, you know, Southeast Asian, but 
if you know more, you know, tell me, let me know what you think. But I, I think I can try to sell this for, for closer to $200. I'm looking to see if I see any, I mean, I'll have to see if I can fix that little piece. I'll just hook it on or I'll just with, with the wear even because it's so unusual. Somebody may be able to get a, I need a solder, get a little solder gun and put, put a little jump ring back on there. Very cool. Definitely something different. Definitely something different. So that was the first half of this blue box. There were quite a bit more items, as you can see in this final collage of pieces of jewelry, but that's coming up in the next video. So make sure that you are staying tuned for the next half of this video coming out soon. Thanks so much for being here, everyone. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.